Hey there, tubers. Um, if you remember from a while back, I did a video on my Toshiba 52 inch, 52 inch question mark TV, and how I was having issues with it. Um, if you remember, I did get it back from repair, but it started to give me issues again. So, look what I got now. This is a true 52 inch Samsung high definition 3 HDMI inputs. Uh, multiple high definition inputs, computer input through uh, the video cord. I'm, I can't think of the proper name for the video cable. And guess what I paid for this beautiful TV? $12.99. I'm serious. It was at Future Shop for $12.99, but I didn't get it at Future Shop. I went to a nice store called FM Audio Video. Last two. And I got one of them. Me and my buddy both got one. Um, so me and my buddy both got a TV, and I'm paying less than what I was paying for my old TV. I wish I owned that old TV, I would have did a smashing video. I would have smashed a piece of shit. And I'll show you the sales receipt. Right there, FM Audio Video. There's the final price with taxes. One thousand four hundred seventy-eight forty-four. So my buddy paid for it, and I'm paying him back. A little bit of interest, of course. I wouldn't do that again. Like, let me turn my camera around here. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Heck, the interest, uh, the taxes that the Ontario government charges is unreal. On this purchase, provincial sales tax one hundred and three ninety-two. That is fucking ridiculous. And GST general sales tax. 6545. It's not bad, but that's ridiculous. It's not even their fucking TV. Uh, that's a new thing. That's another topic. Now they're coming out with the new in Canada here, the HST. So no matter what, you gotta pay PST and GST. Which is gonna be bull. Anyways, can't complain. Anyways, I got this TV at FM Audio Video. I originally seen it, the exactly the same one at Future Shop, but then we we weren't sure if they would have them in, so we went to FM Audio Video, and they had them in. They had the last two, so we said, okay, put a hold on it. We're shopping around a few other places, see what you and we have asked them. Okay, they're originally fifteen ninety nine or something like that. No, not fifteen ninety nine. Sorry, um. We bought it for twelve ninety nine, and I think they had them on for thirteen something like that. We got them down to twelve ninety nine, and then he took another five percent off. So it's not that's not too bad because we would have paid a little over fifteen hundred dollars at the end of it if we would have paid the sticker price. But since we the same TV was at Future Shop for cheaper, we got it cheaper. So let me go over to my computer, show you what I'm bidding on on eBay. I do occasional shopping on eBay. That's where I bought my little EPC from, which I'll be soon getting rid of. It runs fine. Just don't like it anymore. It's too small. I am bidding on a. Bring it up here. It might go a little slow. I am uploading to YouTube currently. My last video, which you'll see very soon. There it goes. Not too bad. Just gotta pause this. HP DV 1000. Uh, close that. For parts. But I think I can fix it. It's missing the power cord. Um, but the story goes on it. It was overheated. The power supply was. Or something went wrong with the power supply. It shorted and overheated and died. And the computer doesn't turn on anymore. But it's if I can get it for that price there. 4150. That will be a pretty good good deal on my part that thing opened up again because this little video down here about it was showing so there it is right there and there it is again there's the keyboard it has no physical damage at all it's not bad As it'll, it'll work good if I can get it for that price for what I need it for it has a 40 gig drive which it's doable I can upgrade it it's upgradable um, I forget what it's upgradable. The RAM's upgradable to a terabyte. I know that. There's all the discs. Media remote. 
yeah, HP USB speakers, more media cables. There's uh, there's the HD cable. So I don't hope actually hopefully I can get it for that price. Um, I'm hoping I can get it for my bid price on here, which is forty one fifty. I am the highest bidder so far. I've checked out these on eBay already. I found a few with uh, broken screens that will go as low as 50 bucks with power cords. I believe they're missing hard drives, but that's not an issue. So if I get ripped off, I get ripped off. It's not not really a big deal. It'll be fun, something fun to mess around with, see if I can get working again. So I know the, the owner has spent quite a bit of money on it, but hey, his loss are my gain. So, again, there's my uh, t my beautiful TV with the little 400 sitting next to it, which will probably be running the internet for it. I could have got the TV with the internet, but I decided against it. There's quite a bit more money. So, I guess that's I guess just have to see. It has the, the bid, uh, eBay auction has two days and one hour left. So, March 18th, it ends at at 12.34.56 PDT time. So, wish me luck. I hope, hopefully I can get it. Um, so this has been Redneck Brian signing off. Keep a redneck. Please subscribe. Please comment.